Well, I figure since we're going to talk about basements, we, we might as well cover the other part of the basement here that is unfinished and the other side of the mechanical room. So behind me is that mechanical room that I just showed you guys in the last video this week. Let me cut it on real quick. Boom, right? You can see that's the mechanical room. Well, this is the other side. Do you see that thing over there in the corner? You guys know what that is? It's a very, very, very important device to this particular house. And the reason why it's important is because that device in the bottom, in the ground right there, that device down there, that is the device that grounds up all the toilet paper, all the waste in the bathroom and the basement. Yes, guys, that is called a suck pump. This is a suck pump. Suck pump, okay? Literally, it's grinding it and it's literally pumping that material from the basement out the sewage line. Boom, right there, okay? That's how sewage lines look in basement houses. They run it out the basement, okay? Now this one is done well. They did a good job. I made sure that they did a good job. I've seen other models where they didn't do a good job with this particular pipe here, this drainage pipe, the sewage pipe. And what I've seen is that if you're not, if you're not on it, if your realtor's not on it with the on-site builder, what will happen is the contractor that comes in and puts in the drainage pipe for the sewer, they will literally just do it the quickest way they can do it and get up out of your house. And that's not what you want. You want something that is useful. Let me, let me take a step back and you guys can kind of see the space. It's not finished at all, but I just want to give you guys a perspective of what this space looks like, right? And this is just a piece of my unfinished basement. Um, that, that is not, I don't, I don't come down here guys and do sit-ups and stuff like that, but <laughs> not yet at least, but I will in the future. Uh, but for right now, I wanted to show you this. I've seen in other houses and other models of this house, literally it come, it would come down and just triangle right there, right? Like a triangle. And it was the weirdest uh, waste of space. And I said, I said, why is that like that? And they said, well, I didn't know that was like that. Well, you guys got to remember, like your realtor needs to help you stay up on that stuff and, and, and make sure that the functionality of your room is being met because I always knew that this is going to be the storage area for our house. We were literally just going to store a lot of random things in this particular part of the area. Um, so it's called unfinished slash storage room and that is what I'm using it for. I'm definitely using it for that, but I'm also using it for utility purposes too. But let me show you guys some other stuff too. So this right here is the alarm. What I love about the alarm is that the alarm will help me ensure that it will alert me and let me know if my suck pump is working because you know, I don't want this thing right here at the bottom. I don't want this thing to fail. If this fails, I can have a severe problem, especially if my kids or, or if I have a guest down here that's using this and all this stuff is just building up in the suck pump and it's a problem. I and mean, you see it's literally, it's literally in the ground, right? That's literally where the pump is at. Now, you can't really hear it when it's, when it's operating, which is awesome, but again, this, this alarm system is awesome for that. I love the fact that it has that, that's great, right? Another thing too, um, you see that this valve is turned up, and just like in my last video, anytime you see a valve that's pointing the direction of the, of the pipe like this, that means that it is open. Okay, so that's a helpful tip for you guys who are not used to looking at, at new construction or just looking at houses in general. This means that it's open. If I were to turn this flat, it would be closed. So basically, I'd be shutting off my suck pump and just ex and just basically setting myself up for failure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you back over here. And again, this is the sewage. This is actually the sewage for the entire house. So that, that comes down in the mechanical room and it actually routes all the way over here. To the exterior this runs under the ground what you have right here from a from an explanation standpoint this is all ground guys all of this is ground this is all ground okay solid ground okay and that's why it sounds so good and that's why it feels so good in here because it's really well insulated when you come over here where the workout stuff is at you will see that this is actually the exterior 
right? And you can see where they had the ground and they built it up a little bit and they put this wall here. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like with my uh, client's current build when they're putting these particular uh, walls up, these big old huge steel walls. It almost looks like The Walking Dead or something like that. And what they're doing is they're gonna be creating these concrete walls so that you can have good insulation here and good separation from the outside. This right here is another water line. So we're gonna, we're gonna come over here and I'll show you my, my shutoff valve. So in this house, um, unlike my other houses, this house has a shutoff valve and this is the water line. This is the main water line. All the water from my house comes in right here. So when they're building and they're setting the foundations for these houses, they're gonna be preparing these lines. This is either gonna be open, right, unfinished, and you can kind of see, it looks like they finished this at a different time than the concrete wall, right? Well, there was a point in time where this was open and literally there was like a, a piece of cloth stuck up in here, right? But they knew what this was gonna be used for, so they had already put the piping here. But this right here is the water from my entire house. This is a shutoff valve. I like these shutoff valves too, and again, this one is straight up with the line, that means it's open, okay? Um, what this is doing is it's actually splitting off here and it's going to different areas, okay? So you have your exterior for your, uh, for your water, like the exterior water spouts, right? Where you are able to wash your car. And you also have the main water line, which is a little bit thicker and it should be because it's gonna be supplying water for the rest of your house. One of these actually runs up to my uh, water heater, which is located in the garage. And that is going to provide the hot water for the entire house, even the basement. There is not a separate water heater in the basement. And we went with the 40 gallon tank option. I personally like the electric, um, not the electric, the tankless water heaters. I think those are great. But the thing with the tankless water heaters is that they're, they're not cheap. So unless if you wanna spend extra money on that and you feel like you need that much water, we only have, you know, between me, and my wife and our two kids. We don't have, in my opinion, I don't feel like we have enough need to have more than a 40 gallon water heater. That's plenty of water for us on a, on a daily, on a morning basis and a nightly basis. We don't all take showers at the same exact time while running the dishwasher and running the laundry. So we're pretty good when it comes to that. But I do like the instantaneous um, tankless water heaters that, that they have as an option. I think those are pretty cool. Um, it's just not we didn't want to spend the money on it personally. Um, it's up to you guys how you want to spend the money, but you know, just a personal lesson from an owner of a house that's like this. We went with the 40 gallon and we don't regret it. It does take maybe like uh, 10, 15 seconds to get hot water to wherever your location is at, but once it's there, it's there. And so you can just continue to use it and we haven't ran out of hot water yet. Even in our old house, we didn't run out of hot water with our tankless water heater, which in our old house, it was located in the attic which was above every floor in this house is located in the garage, which is in the middle of the three floors of the house. Let's see what else I could talk about here. So this was the exhaust, the exhaust for the furnace here. It runs right outside, it's great. The, the intake and the exhaust. So you need pressure going in, you need pressure going out. Right, so it's just like like a car in the front of it, you would be sucking in the air, and in the back you'd be spitting out the air. For this one, they just ran it like this, and that's and that's what these particular things are for. And you could hear it if the unit was running; you could actually hear the exhaust coming out of these particular pipes. It's really cool. Um, let's see what else we got in here to show you. So here's just some ideas you can do for a mechanical, not a mechanical room, for a storage room. What I was gonna do, what I'm still probably gonna do, is I'm gonna go to the hardware store and I'm gonna get some shelves and I'm just gonna stack these things up, all right, as high as I can, and, and, and just start stacking things up for, for spacing, right? Some of this stuff, some of this music stuff that I had left over, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know, um, a snowboard there. I wish I could use it, but it's never cold enough in North Carolina to go snowboarding, unfortunately. Um, I've only used it once, which kind of sucks, but you know, we'll see. Maybe a big snowboarding trip is in, is in order for 2022. Uh, Let's see, uh, more music equipment. Obviously the drums here, right? That's another cool thing about the basement. If you're a musician and you want to be able to play the drums, you can absolutely play the drums 
if you have a basement, guys. That is one of the best parts of it. I'm a musician, so if there's other musicians who are watching this and they're curious and they wanna find out how do I build the best house for a musician, contact me, guys. I, I would absolutely be the best realtor you can get. I mean, you're talking about a professional musician helping you guys out. In the event that you wanna be a musician at the home, you wanna be able to make to have jam sessions, you wanna be able to have fun, guys, I, I'm, I'm the guy. I'm the guy, without a doubt, I'm the guy. Just contact me, I can help you out all day, guys. Got this nice rug down here just to make sure that nothing moves. It actually came out of my old room. Um, it's crazy because it actually looks, it makes the space look pretty nice. But I got it off of Wayfair, I love Wayfair. Um, this set over here, this is just my workout equipment, right? And what I love about this, this space is the ceilings are high. The ceilings are really high. So I used to do CrossFit for about three years. And while I was doing CrossFit, I was used to doing different types of Olymp Olympic lifts. And so this really affords me the ability to lift things up pretty high and not worry about knocking something down. Even this light is far enough away. I don't have to worry about it. So I like the fact that I have the space and this option to go ahead and get my summer body ready for the beach, guys. I've got my um, punching bag here, which is great. But, you know, at the end of the day. I'm probably going to end up going back and joining a gym because I just miss people. <laughs> Being uh, a member of Rockbox was a lot of fun, so I'll probably go ahead and join the, the Rockbox that's close to me. And I've got more music equipment and things like that. My wife, she even tells me, she's like, I can't hear you on these drums. When you're on the drums, I cannot even hear you playing on the drums. That's how good of an option a basement is, guys. And that's what I've been saying. A basement is perfect for if you want the kids to go down there and just kind of get out of your space, you can stay upstairs, you can drink some wine. A basement is great if you have people who are musicians, you can you can plug amplifiers up, that's a bass amp right there. This is, this is a half stack for a guitar, another um, quarter stack right here. I mean, this stuff won't be loud, guys. This stuff won't be loud at all. It won't be bothering your neighbors and you'll be in a good place. So at the end of the day, I mean, isn't that what we all want? We want to be able to enjoy our living space without having to go and buy more things. And I think that's important. And I, I, what I hope that you guys got out of this video um, and really get out of my channel is I really hope that I'm providing some type of value to you guys and I want to have a conversation with you. So don't be afraid to, in the comments, just say something. Let me know. If you got a question, if you're curious about something, hey, I'll answer it, guys. But my whole thing is this. I want to help people and I want people to be able to achieve what they want to achieve. So if you're interested in buying a home, or if you're interested in selling your home and buying a home in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the surrounding areas, not just Charlotte, I'll go out as far as, uh, you know, Mooresville, Troutman, uh, Gastonia, Belmont. That's not a problem, guys. We, we, we work with people all throughout the Charlotte metro area and surrounding areas, okay? My first house that I ever sold was in Locust, North Carolina. So, you know, I don't have a problem with traveling, guys. But I just want to be sincere and let you guys know that I'm here to help you guys and I'm doing my best. Uh, this is Reggie Jamerson with Ashley Lambert Realty. My, com my contact information is below. Um, if you're interested, just go ahead and call me, okay? All right, guys. I'll give you one more look before I shut this off. This is the space. It's loud. And no, I'm not going to play the drums on this video. But, um, you know, if I get a 1,000 subscribers, if I get a 1,000 subscribers, I will play the drums for the subscribers. Absolutely sure. I will do that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk with you later. Have a fantastic day. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Hi, I'm Reggie and welcome to my real estate YouTube channel. I'm a North Carolina realtor with Ashley Lambert Realty servicing the Charlotte metro area. On my channel, I post videos explaining the home buying and selling process. I also have some tips and tricks for real estate, DIY projects, and of course, home video walkthroughs. Make sure you subscribe for new content and comment below to introduce yourself. I look forward to hearing from you.